Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have a what's in my bag. I actually got a couple of DMs on the same day asking for a what's in my bag video. So I thought kind of was meant to be that I did a what's in my bag. I don't actually think I've ever done one of these videos before, so I'm quite looking forward to it for a change. There's nothing groundbreaking in here or anything that you've not seen or heard of before. So these are just my basics that I carry around every day. I thought I'd do a kind of summary edition with the Loewe basket bag because this I would say is the bag that I'm wearing most frequently at the moment. I'm just kind of throwing it on with everything. I think it looks really good with blazers and jeans um, to kind of like a bit more of a city look and then I think it also looks really nice dressed very summery obviously for the beach um, but I definitely like wearing it um, just out and about every day throwing it on and I think it gives an immediate effortless look to an outfit. So this is the Loewe medium basket bag which I got at the end of spring I would say last year. I think it was about it was about my birthday so end of April beginning of May and I've worn it so so much since. I'm not sure whether this one is in stock at the moment. Um, it's one of those that has been selling out a lot so I've actually been linking the smaller version in other videos and yeah I think I think that is quite a bit smaller but this is for me the perfect size so if you are unsure medium is a really really good size because I think the large one is perhaps not as practical anyway let us begin with the video now that we've spoken about the bag itself so basically because it's a basket bag it's very open it's not got like side pockets or anything being the nature of a basket bag that's not really what um, they're for so what I tend to do and which I always need to be honest is I pop a sweater inside so I just put a sweater at the top so this one's just my Zara sweatshirt, size medium. I'll see if it's still in stock because it's the best sweatshirt ever. Um, and I just pop something like this on the top of the bag, on top of all my things to kind of secure them. Just gives a little bit of added safety for the bag. But also, I often need a sweatshirt. You never know what the weather's going to be here in England. It's often can be warm and then the next minute it's really cold so sweatshirts for me in summer are something that i get a lot of wear out of so i like to carry around with me so what is next in the bag so let's go with a sign of the times we've got two essentials here one is my hand gel i actually have this little one been using this for a while now We've got some of the bigger pumps of hand gel. So we just keep topping this one up and then taking this one out with us. Just a cute little one to carry around in my handbag. I actually, <laughs> Tim had taken this one out the other day. We need another little one. And I actually ended up carrying our great big hand sanitizer, which is like this big in this bag. But it's very useful for larger items like that, I must say. So I've got my little hand sanitizer here and then my mask. This one is just from ASOS. It's not, it's not my favorite mask but yeah, it's just cloth face covering um, for when we go out and about, obviously essential during these times. So what else have we got? This is not gonna be a very exciting what's in my bag. I always carry my phone, obviously. I kind of think it's essential. I know some bags just don't fit mobile phones in and I just think that's so stupid because what is the point? I take my phone everywhere. Yeah, you might have a pocket, but I like having everything in a handbag. I don't like thinking that I've got bits in my pockets and I'm, I would need everything to be safe in one single bag rather than thinking I've got things here, there and everywhere. So I've got my phone here and this case is by a brand called Mark Russell Leather. Mark Russell? Mark Russell. And I bought this not too long ago because I wanted my old one, just was ruined basically. And I wanted like a brownie crock and it's got my initials in. I'll show you closer because it's so nice. I actually get a lot of questions about this when I do like mirror selfies on Instagram, but it's so cute. I actually have the iPhone 11. For some reason I didn't go for the Pro and I think I was a bit confused on the phone when I was getting my updates. <laughs> upgrade sorry the new phones had just come out so i wasn't 100 percent sure and the guy on the phone was just talking to me and i ended up just getting the iphone 11 but to be fair i actually really like the camera on this i really like the size and i actually prefer the camera on this to the pro 
so yeah this is the phone I've got and my phone case I always keep the same phone case on pretty much and I like to go for a classic color that I think I would wear a lot this one is monogrammed as well just with my initials on so another absolute mandatory thing in my handbag always are my sunglasses these are Gucci, I think these might be Havana. I can't remember the exact um, style. I think they're on net porte at the moment, but this is them. They've got the GG sign again. I'll come a bit closer so you can see. So they've got the double G and then the tortoise shell, like a really nice dark brown tortoise shell. Just big sunglasses. And these are just my fail safe, like all time sunglasses that I know will always look good, go with everything and that I can just pop on. I like to wear them if we go out for a coffee first thing in the morning and I'm wearing my gym kit. I just put my sunglasses on, I've got no makeup on and they cover a lot of my face. I've got quite a big face so I like having some bigger sunglasses, smaller sunglasses I find just get a little bit lost on my face so I love having my sunglasses. You never know when you're gonna need sunglasses. I wear them when it's even like not sunny and it's just bright outside. And then I've just got a case, just a really light case. It's the one that Gucci have is so heavy and thick that I just couldn't carry that around. So I just pop them in like this light case. I can't remember where this is from, but just like a light black case. My next thing is my card holder. It's the San Laurent. Is it like, I don't know what kind of leather it is with the gold face. This I've had since I was 21, so four years now, and I use it all the time daily. I don't really carry a purse because I tend not to use change, and specifically at the moment with COVID, I am not using change at all, really. I'm just using contactless as much as possible. My card holder is great for that. I've got all sorts of little things in here. Obviously, all my cards. I've got a paper chase gift. Oh, I've got my wine, uh, wine bar card that you fill up. I've got my paper chase gift card. What's have I got in here? I feel like this just gets stuffed up with so much stuff. I think this is another thing in here, which I don't even know what it is. Oh, free plate at Dishoom. Oh, I need to remember those. I'm gonna keep those out. And yeah, just my other um, cards. So I keep everything in there. And then of course I have keys. These are kind of more Tim's keys, but we've got like the post box key on there. The car key, not car keys, the house key and other bits and bobs. So keys, obviously essential. And then I've got my little Laura Mercier pouch. I absolutely adore this. I take it with me so much. It's just a really nice, cute size. This actually came with a uh, with some PR samples that they sent over and this gorgeous bag came with it. So really nice color as well with it being like a peachy. It matches my bedroom. So in here I have a few goodies. My tail comb, which I use pretty much every day. So it's got the tail bit on it. I think I just got this from Superdrug. But I use this to kind of get my parting straight. Um, so yeah, this is an essential for me. I always take a comb and it's obviously much lighter than a hairbrush as well because who can be bothered carrying a big hairbrush around? Something else I have is this Margaret Dabbs hand cream which just smells divine. It's just like a fairly small one. I'm just gonna put some of that on now. And this is Intense Hydrating Hand Lotion, which obviously when you are using this all the time and washing your hands all the time, they just get really, really dried out. So this is an essential. Another one which I pop in my bag if I'm going out kind of for the day is this Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede. What is this? A perfume. So this is a smaller size, the 30 ml one. Peony and Blush Suede is actually one of my favorite Jo Malone scents. It's so light, so fresh. Perfect for summer, I think, but actually also in winter too. I'm kind of running out of this, but I absolutely love Jo Malone. I've been a very long-standing fan of theirs. I often get asked what my favorite perfumes is are, and a lot of the Jo Malone ones come up. So the Peony and Blush Suede I love. Grapefruit, um, the Orange Blossom one is gorgeous. I love like zesty, fruity, fresh scents. And then I often have like a compact on me. This one, it might be a bit reflective in the camera. This one is 
from, you can see the car park in the background. This one is from YSL and it actually just has like a gold highlight inside, which to be honest, I don't really use it for. I just use it um, more for the mirror and for the compact if I'm out and about. Again, like obviously I don't carry this in every single bag because some of my bags are quite small. If I'm going out for more of a day and I've got a bigger bag, then I tend to like add these extras in just to keep myself fresh. And then my NARS concealer, which is kind of at its end now, it's running out, but I swear by this it's lasted so long. I mean so long. I don't use that much of it, but I use it every single day. So it's a light 2.5 canal, canal soft matte complete concealer and I just dab it around my eyes and nose every single day and it's lasted ages. So I always take this with me just to top up as the day goes on. And then my two heroes are these. So this one is the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Yes Honey. It used to be called Hepburn Honey, but they've changed the name to Yes Honey, not sure why. And then my combo with it is this Illamasqua lip pencil in the color Raw, so it's just like this nice nudie shade. So that is pretty much everything for my Loewe bag. Sometimes when I'm like going out to work, um, like at a cafe or whatever, I'll take my notepad and laptop, they fit in there. I don't like straining this bag too much. It is really, really strong, but um, I try and not put too much in it. It does fit my laptop in and notebooks, pens, etc. So if I'm going out to work for the day, then that's what I'll take in this bag as well. It's, per Ooh, it's a perfect size for that. So yeah, those are my items for what's in my bag. This is kind of the summer edition. Pretty much the same in winter as well, um, but just with a different handbag, to be honest. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know if you have the same things in your handbag. And if you think I've missed anything, what am I not carrying that is essential and that you carry everywhere with you? I would actually really like to know because those are my staples. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you like the video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.